All right, guys. Hello, it's me, Psychosis here, and today I'm, we have a special guest, my brother, right here. So, hey. so um, today's could be a little bit different. I'm sorry the camera's bad, and so it's my first time doing it on the phone. But today the video is going to most likely be a Lion King movie review. So, what I think about it, what my brother thinks about it, and stuff. So yeah, but uh, my review is, I would say it's good. But those bad things to it, I didn't like about it. Like, for example, like, I know they wanted to do something different. But it just didn't feel like the same with the 1994 version. Like, most likely... How can I say it? Like, the Akuna Matata song, I'm not going to say it's disappointment. But I feel like they should have went with the original plot like they would, like what they did before. I know they want to do something different because it's the 21st century or whatever, but I felt like they should have kept the nostalgia the way where the storybook is. And with some of the things being different, like I would say the Nala and like uh, Simber fight, I felt like that ended way too quickly. Like the other one, like had a little more longer battle to it, if you know what I mean. But Let's see what your thoughts, my brother. Well, me, I thought it was a good movie, you know? I mean, honestly, I can't, like, really say about the older one because I haven't watched the older one for, like, a really long time, you know? Yeah. It's been a while. Decades, yeah. But, I mean, I thought it was a good movie. Like, it felt a little longer than the original. That, obviously. That's the thing with me. I felt like the movie ended way too quickly. You think so? Yeah, because we, when I look at the 1994 version and stuff, like at my freaking house and stuff, I felt like since I was there in my place, like, I felt like the 1994 version lasted way longer. Like, well, maybe it looks again, like when we get old, time seems to go fast when we age or whatever, but I don't really believe in that bullshit. But with me, I felt like the movie ended way too quickly because. Again, if I remember correctly, the 1994 version is like an hour and a half or whatever. Something like that. Because of the fucking trailers, so that's what. But to me, this felt like it didn't last that long. I just, when I got there, I felt like... When the movie ended that quickly, I felt like... I just felt like I just got here. Uh, what you think a little bit differently. Because again, we've been there for a while. And of course, we didn't move our right. asses off. But I would say some of the music is pretty good. Uh, this, some of the songs, I felt like it was a disappointment. Because they changed it a bit. Like, I like, I can't wait to be king. I just felt like there was not enough passion to it. And Mufasa's death, um, it was good, but like, if you remember, like, Scar slapped him in his face to make him fall. Like, he didn't like freaking release his grip or whatever. And that's why I felt like, right, was I wouldn't say it's bad, but it's just not the same, man. But I, I, I would say the movie is good. I'm gonna be the truth. I like. I fell in love with the movie. Like I did cry in the end with some of the scenes. Like again, this is our childhood, brother. Like again, we grew up in this bullshit. Like I said, and it was good seeing something like this. And like I said, um, so I was like, like they did change some of the things. Like I said, like they did that once with Timon and Puma. Like when they were singing the like the Mighty Jungle. Like they did it a little bit longer, which was entertaining, but. You know, I felt like it would have been better, like, the way it was before, like, Puma hunting on, like, that little freaking beetle, the knowledge chasing his ass and whatever, but doing something like that, but they were doing something like creativity, so I'll give them that, but I would say the battle between Scar and Simba ended way too quickly. You think so? Yeah. So how would you rate this movie, like, 1 to 10? <sighs> Damn, uh, that's a fucking hard one. I, I would say because, like, the, again, because this is the first time i ever seen, like, a real-life action movie or a Disney movie or whatever. Right. I would definitely say, because this is my childhood by The Lion King, so I'm in love with The Lion King. Like, the only two freaking movies, like, from the Disney genre I fell in love with, the like, the trilogies or whatever, the genre itself is Lion King and Toy Story, so... <clears throat> Sorry, Nachos. But, uh, if I had to say one thing, I would say Lion King, in my opinion, is, like, a 10 out of 10. I do I recommend like all my subscribers seeing it differently. And like I said, maybe a little bit different, but I guess some change is good, but not all good. But it's up to you guys to see what the decision is. But what would you rate the movie? I'll give it like uh I think maybe like a nine out of ten. 
Yeah. yeah. But like I said, there's some things if you guys did see the 1994 version of Lion King, like I said, the way it ended, yes, it was like that, but people that don't know, like I said, just watch it, like rewatch the 1994 version before watching like this year's yeah, version. Yeah, like, I recommend that because I mean, I haven't watched it for a very long time, you know? Take it to a bunch of freaking old fools that freaking ran in the hood together. So yeah, just take our advice. Like I said, watch the 194 version. Just to re, you know, refresh your memory, you know? Again, like I said, take it with a bunch of freaking old f- punk ass idiots like us. But like I said, if you guys see The Lion King, if you want to know what I mean, uh, the only thing I would recommend uh, like, is seeing the first two original Lion King movies and stuff because you won't know what it means if kids like new generation sees the end of The Lion King, they don't know who the hell that is. See both the original old school Lion King movies before you see this one because then you'll know who they are what their characters are and what's their freaking personalities that's one thing I highly recommend you guys doing so yeah like I said like that's our again like we grew up together like I said in the hood like I said we me and I just been planning to see this for a few months now me and my brother right here so yeah we was I actually left here kind of happy and stuff yeah and there were some things I liked and what I didn't like about it but that's what like, movie reviews are all about and stuff like us saying what's a good thing about it, but good and bad. But at the end of the day, it was still a good movie, you know. Oh yeah, precisely. Like I said, I left home happy. But like I said, the people from all the new generation that hasn't seen the like the Lion King right now, I highly recommend seeing the first two. Like I said, this bunch of times. see the first two. That's where you can get in depth with the characters. That's why you can see it because yeah, they changed some things. But it's up to you guys to see it, what your guys is freaking like suggestions are or like how you feel about the movie but yeah. yeah this is something i wanted to do more so like with me and my brother always do like more like reviews and stuff like we'll do our own little reviews or whatever but i think i may do this for every movie like me and this dude plan to go see but yeah you you enjoyed the movie huh yeah heck yeah man it was a good so movie. you highly recommend it for everybody to go see it for sure watch it make sure you guys watch it and then there you guys go that's my me and my brother right here was like our own little movie review. So, yeah, hopefully you guys like us jabbering our jaws off. But, yeah, again, sorry about the quality. Like, again, it's my first time last year on my phone. And I, I know it's shit, but come some slack. I'm, I'm stirballing to grow on this bullshit. But, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like, so me and my little movie review and stuff. So, yeah, hopefully you guys have a lovely rest of your night, morning, afternoon, or whatever. But, yeah, I'll live stream tomorrow for sure. And we can just get back to schedule. So, yeah. So, yeah, make sure you guys leave a like and comment and stuff or whatever. Like the video, share it, do whatever. I don't fucking care. I'm happy with whatever. I take all criticisms. But, yeah, I love you all, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.